OK, we're going to adjust the uh, tappet settings, valve clearances on an Austin 8. Now you need a 3 16 um, Whitworth spanner and a 5 16 spanner. The uh, feeler gauge is 12 thousandths of an inch. And for a start, you need to remove the side panel here. You'll need to remove the, just the carburetor and disconnect the bracket at the front of the exhaust system so it can just drop down out of place, out of your way. If you really want lots of clearance, you have to remove the fuel pump as well, but you can probably get away without that. You don't need to remove the head, I've just got it off to do the head gasket. Uh, you also remove this panel that covers the valve adjustment area. Okay, what you need now is a special tool, and that's just the right size to fit between the flats on the lifters on the valves, and that stops them turning. You must do that. Now, you go with this, you've got the, the bucket here, and then the locking nut, and then the adjustment bolt. And you just put the feeler gauge in just above the adjustment bolt, and it should just be a sliding fit. So feel you've got the head. And that one won't go. It's just a bit, just a little bit tight. So what I do now? Just undo the locking nut, and then. Screw that down a flat and lock it again. And we'll just check. That's still just a little. Now you see it's just a nice sliding fit under the, the feeler gauge. So now what you do is you just make sure that's locked. And we could do the same with this one, just unlock it. This one was just a little loose, so I'll just get out, come up a fraction. Right, we'll bring it out flat and I'll hold it steady. It's where the uh, taking the fuel pump out gives it a little bit more space. Okay, they check that they're firmly in place. 
clearances. That's just a nice fit. Just a nice fit. So that's cylinder number one. Now to do the next one in the sequence with the firing order is uh, three. So we'll use the crank handle. So number three, just check those clearances, the inlet valve, just, that's fine, the valve, exhaust valve's tightened up, the exhaust valves always seem more prone to getting burnt and wearing. Just, just need to unlock it just a fraction. And now, screw it down flat, lock it. And that's just, there we go, just nice. Lock that up. Okay, so it's number three cylinder done. Next. Cylinder number four. Okay. Locking pins in place. Exhaust inlet valves fine. Source valves just a little tight. Okay, down, tighten up the flat. Nip it up. And there we go, nice and clear. Last cylinder, number two.
This one actually the exhaust valve feels about right. And the end of the valve seems about right. So that's good, that doesn't need adjusting. Now you can just have a look, a quick look at the valve to make sure there's no obvious Okay. 